today we are looking at the Renin Lab. It actually took a long time to create, probably like a hour or two hours, maybe three hours. <laughs> it actually, well, anyway, like, today we are looking at the Brennan Lab. And this command block right here will be a secret part. Which means this button is also secret. There's actually a few secrets in the Brennan Lab, so we'll start with the subway to the Brennan Lab. The subway to the Brennan Lab has, like, two chairs in the low line, line, so, <laughs> so you know it actually is a subway, and a very far drop. Which means you should probably just get on your ride first, then to walk it, or else you might go. The subway part of the Brandon Lab has an elevator. It'll take you down and and you'll go like farther under me. And the underground part will actually take you to the uh, to the Bee Lab, which is currently for sale. And like, okay, so this is supposed to say something. It probably like used to say like I remember used to say, but it probably said like. This is the parking lot to the Brennan and these are <laughs> eight ball only <laughs> parking spaces, which means if you're one of the owners of the Brennan Lamp, then you can park in one of these spaces, which means you'll get special access to a few things. There's also a few security cameras <laughs> in the Brennan to make sure that nothing bad is going on. This is the lab VIP part. This part is a, a very exclusive part with special buttons. <laughs> they're, la they're labeled. <laughs> one is labeled with one question mark. The others are labeled with exclamation marks. No one knows what the buttons the <laughs> does, and they currently and they currently do nothing. This is cut. And cut. Okay. Start. Take two. This is my office part of the room. These buttons have the option to hire or fire. And this is a not too secret, but pretty secret, but pretty secretive trap door. In here are special swords. For no reason, I just decided to put here as one of the secrets to the burning lamp. And then you close the uh, and then and then you close the trap door. I replaced it with a one made out of barrier blocks, so you can't see it. Now I definitely replaced it with barrier blocks. This is the like slime room. It's filled with slime, and you can bounce and bounce and bounce. The ceiling is also made of slime, just in case you hit your head on the ceiling. But there's one thing. 
You can have no lab food in there. No lab 7-ups or n lab cards. All that stuff might get stuck in the slime floor to tear the room up. There's also security camera scanners to make sure you don't have any of that stuff on you. This is the meeting area to the brand of life. Similar to the office, but it's more new. <laughs> It's an area where all the workers of the Brennan Lab meet. It's different from the office because at the office you can get like fired or hired or promoted or something. This is like a meeting area. Like, all creepers should now not explode. So, this is the main entrance to the lab, and lab setups. And this is the charging area, the creepers. <laughs> okay, so this area uses creepers to, to charge. It also <laughs> uses special blocks or anything to charge the entire lab. Whenever there's a meltdown, it will keep the power on for a little bit longer. This is the lab analyzer. It will analyze any sign that has to do with the core. Like if the core is going to explode, if it's too hot, if it's too cold, if the lasers are on or not. And there's a poster that says, you see Jeff, it's actually a Minecraft Easter egg that I put as a Easter egg in the Brandon lab. This is the mining area to the Brandon lab. It's been changed a little bit and it's probably going to be under construction forever. Mainly because it is under construction forever. And this is the generator. There's an under camera right here to make sure someone doesn't, like... <laughs> but, <laughs> this is the generators of the random lab. Without this, the creepers charging it wouldn't charge anything, including the generator itself, which doesn't make sense. So you can't really turn the generator off. This is the charging of the Brennan Lab. It charges all the energy from the creepers and converts it to the core. It will show you with, <laughs> with plenty saying this, like, perfect in the charging, like something's going wrong, or it's filled. If it fills, the chargers will leak and energy will spill everywhere. Explosive energy, actually. This is the second cover area. Um, the charging uh, filter. This converts uh, all the charge uh, uh, from liquid form to lava. Then it actually does get uh, transported to the core. That, okay, so this goes there. It goes through the walls in the ear, goes through the filter, turns into lava, and then gets to run to the core. I also just discovered a new way to launch yourself in my This is the Green Goo Lab. This area is really secret and we do not want to share any information about this area besides the cows. We feed them every day and and we just can't share anything about that. That's the most secret area of the Brandon Lab. It's also an exclusive area. This is the portal, and portal area. In it, you can teleport to a other dimension. The creeper dimension, the nether, or the end. Down here is, is the computer. I added this because I came up with an idea. But I didn't decide to do anything. Most of this is actually based on the innovation labs or Pinewood, Pinewood built our computer core from Roblox. Thank <laughs> you.
the video cut off. So now we're going to go back and actually, okay. Well, the video did cut off and this is tape two. Okay, so yeah. and this area shows like all the components of Hunter Beach Dark Lord Park. And this one is you know, the same stuff. I don't really know what to do with that area. It's still in development and everything. Maybe you could say what that area could be used for. Currently, right now, I hit, I, I actually built this lamp for, like, the main purpose why it is so I can, like, so I could, like, make something big. So, this is the green goo lamp. It's filled with green goo and water. The water gets converted to green goo, and that's how the lab gets its supply. Still, that area is also top secret. This is the core. It has many things like the radiation level, the uh, uh, extinguish uh, uh, bottle, uh, uh, the uh, uh, a core interface, uh, a fire exit, core screens, uh, 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 even has back suits. This area is the airlock, and it brings you to the core. Uh, and the core has special lasers to keep it in place. This area is uh, is the core generator. It's kind of similar to the generator, but it uh, but it like puts more power into the core. So using it could make the core mm, like heat or get colder faster or something. This is one of the parts on the random lab that use redstone. This is the core alarm for my camera. You could activate the, <laughs> the coolers or the heaters. They activate the emergency ones. So if you activate the coolers when the core is hot, it'll become cool. But if you activate the heaters when it's hot, it might cause a meltdown. This is underneath the core. Also top secret. There's actually nothing going on here, so it's not that top secret. Hallway. Not too long though. This is the lunch room. In this room you can get lunch. With many different options. Like apples, cooked cod, cooked chicken, a, a baked potato, cooked beef, a cooked pork chop, and some carrots, cookies, or bread. <laughs> a other part in the running lab that uses red snake. This room is kind of top secret, but we can share information about it. This is the giant Brennan Lab room. It, it currently does nothing and it doesn't have a main purpose yet, but, but this area was going to be like a hotel room thing, but it's been replaced. This area is the service station. It, it has all the service, 